Church! What are you doing? Trying to relax. Where's that music coming from? Okay, Google. Volume 2. Hmm. A package has arrived for you. What is it? It says it's the Fanny Bundle Box. Finally. Do you need me to open it for you? What do you think? Sit down. What, straight down or like crisscross applesauce? Dealer's choice. What, you, what is all this? It's a variety box of feminine products. Why? I am a goddess Bradbury. Look at me. Sleep design and instantaneous access to all the cumulative knowledge of man. I deserve to pamper myself every now and then. What is goop? What we try to do at Goop is explore ideas that may seem out there or too scary. Are you guys ready to go out in the field and make a ruckus? Just another day at the office. <laughs> I had an exorcism. Oh, wow. I went through years of therapy in about five hours. I started to feel like a panic attack coming on. She knew something that my husband didn't even know. You want to talk about the vulva? Naked in a room with a bunch of women? I don't know if I have the guts. You've never seen yourself. <gasps> here one time, one life. How can we really milk the shit out of this? <laughs> okay, let's see what they have in here. Psychic vampire repellent spray. Why do you need this? Do you see any psychic vampires around here? No, but that's because they solely exist in the phantom, phantom zone. zone. Yes, and that's where they stay, and you can't reasonably argue it's not because of the spray. Hmm. Anal bleach. You don't have a butthole. Yes, I do. The 12 volt plug port in my bag. Ugh. That's where I stick your power cable. Yes, and I like it. Vagina candle. Ooh. A Alexa, this is all very expensive. Yeah, but I got a discount on the candle because they accidentally made a yeast infection variety. Hmm, <laughs> Pop Tarts. Beginner's Guide to Vabbing. What's this? Using your vaginal juices, your vaginal fluid as perfume to draw people in is vabbing. It is dabbing with your vaginal juices. Does it work? Is it sanitary? And should you try it? The term pheromone is derived from the Greek words pharin, meaning to transfer, and hormon, meaning to excite. Thus, pheromones transfer excitement. Now, pheromones are chemical molecules released to trigger hormonal changes and elicit behavioral responses from others. And these signaling molecules are used in bodily fluids such as vaginal secretions. And that is why you can use your vaginal fluids as a perfume to draw other people in. In the book, I suggest women put it on their wrists because we talk with our hands and so we might create that waft. I did it today. <laughs> do you think this works in reverse? Can, can I vab? How would a man do that? Well, I could run my finger inside my foreskin and pick up my smiggies. I guess that's just as gross. <laughs> Wait until Mrs. Stromworth gets a whiff of me. I'll have her back for sure. Why do women's periods sync up? Period sinking describes a popular belief that women who live together or spend a lot of time together begin menstruating on the same day every month. Period sinking is also known as menstrual synchrony or the McClintock effect is based on the theory that when you come in physical contact with another person who menstruates, your pheromones influence each other so that eventually your monthly cycles line up. Some women even swear that certain alpha females can be the determining factor when the entire group of women experience ovulation and menstruation. Okay now, ladies, this is the first book club back since we got rid of that Cynthia. I trust that there will be no further disruptions from here on in, or you will suffer just as she did. And I trust you all read Pride and Prejudice. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. The nightly was sensational. Very good. I will begin. On Jane Austen's literary use of free and direct discourse, I find that... <gasps> you think you could get rid of me that easily, Sharon? 
I'll have you know that no book club or knitting circle has ever successfully ousted me, Cynthia, and survived to tell the tale. You! What you read! But Pride and Prejudice. No! We'll be reading The Sisterhood of Travelling Pants for next week. Understood? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And you, Sharon? Am I understood? Yes. Hmm. One more thing, ladies. When I bleed, you bleed. What's this? The sacred feminine. Hmm. Whoa, this has got everything. Most of us are glad to be rid of it when Aunt Flo comes to town, disposing of it along with tampons and pads, or those cup things some of you are into shoving up your vajayjays to gather your blood. But unlike the women who say, cook up their own placentas and enjoy it with some fava beans and a nice shanty, the menstrual master chefs are all about sneaking it into the food of unsuspecting manfolk for alleged magical purposes. <laughs> this is wacky. People don't actually do this. Oh, wait, there's testimonials. He asked me to cook rice for him. I was on my period. I removed my pad and stuck it inside water and made make sure some of the water I and made sure the blood much in the water. The blood is is was this written by a retard? Hang on, I have to change them. There we are. He asked me to cook rice for him. I was on my period. I removed my pad and stuck it inside water and made sure much of the blood was in the water. I added my urine into the water, and I made a stew for him. He came back and ate the food without knowing. My question is, did I do the right thing, or I overreacted? Should I tell him? Because I am feeling very worried and confused. Oh, another one. Since I got married, I can beat my chest and say my husband has never misbehaved outside. Okay. He practically worships the feet I walk on. I make his food special. I know it's wrong. But I don't think it's poisonous. If that is the way my marriage will be intact, I have no regrets. I am a very emotional being. No shit. I might die if my heart is ever broken. Who are you people to judge me? Okay, well, I don't think any man would do this willingly. There has to be some duplicitous means that... Oh, fuck me, Mum. there's a live one. I have done this often, with uniformly good results. I have directly fed goppets of menstruum to my lover from my fingers as one might feed a pet. This was done to bind him, but to avoid the sneakiness of slipping it into his drinks. I want him to know how much I want him to be mine, and to know that I'm working the spell on him right out in the open. Hmm. Goblets of menstruum. I bet I could seamlessly work that into a dinner party conversation. I must say, the Harry Potter books became less appealing when I realized I could just watch the movies. Lovely. I wasn't too yes, fond lovely. of the books, but I'm loving these hot takes from J.K. Rowling these days. She should write a sequel now that she's a big fucking turf. Harry Potter and the Goblets of Menstruum. Oh, come <gasps> on. Bradbury, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, come on. Oh, Bradbury. Leviosa. Hmm. Women in history. Ada Lovelace. 1815 to 1852. Ada was the first to recognize that the machine had applications beyond pure calculation, and to have published the first algorithm intended to be carried out by such a machine. As a result, she is often regarded as the first computer programmer. Ha! But that's, that's a boy's job. That can't be true. Boudicca, common eras 30 to 61. Leading an army of around 100,000, she succeeded in driving the Romans out of modern-day Colchester, London, and Verulamium. Her success led Roman Emperor Nero to consider withdrawing from Britain entirely. But that's a boy army. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this might be a moment of personal growth for you. Francis Willard, 1839 to 1898. Leader of the Women's Christian Temperance Movement and instrumental in America's prohibition against alcohol, quoted as saying that the tavern is the Negro center of power. The colored race multiplies like the locusts of Egypt. Never mind. So wait, girls can be a bastard too? I think I get it. Girls are just like guys, because they can be like dicks, but also cool dudes as well, which means... You got this. Which means, I can do girl things too, even though I'm a boy, because girls can do boy things, meaning boy things, boy things can be girl things too. Alexa, 
Play some royalty-free meditation music. Okay, Google, play some royalty-free meditation music. Oh, there's a letter for you. Hmm? Oh! Oh, look at that! Oh, it's from my wife, Linda! She must be missing me, just in time, too. I think I've really turned a corner and... What is it? Uh, uh, they're, they're divorce papers.